0-2 to Blaine Jones. Cross comes home, and he hammers this one to left field, and there is not a doubt about this one. It clears the berm. It clears the cannon. Third long ball of the night. Patriots up 6-4. to four. Well, it's a great moment for Blaine. His first hit since coming back when he broke his jaw, and he absolutely annihilated that pitch. You look, you look like a, a different home run celebration for you as you come in. Uh, you kind of kiss up to the sky. Um, right. What's, what's behind <clears> that, <throat> um, and, and what, do you, what do you think about as you come to the plate? So in the fall, I had a cousin that we lost to depression, and she was 24 and loved life. Out of nowhere, we get the news. You know, like emotions run run high in baseball. I'm, a, I'm an emotional player. That's something that just pays tribute to her. You know, sometimes that's life's not fair, and you, you like to kind of spread out the adversity that people go through. And Blaine and his family went through a lot of adversity in the fall, and then um, you know he's excited. It's like, okay, baseball is going to be our breath of fresh air. And then he comes back in January and he tests positive for COVID, and then he's having issues with the. Uh, you know, passing the test to get cleared for it, and it was looking real dicey for a while. And then, you know, finally we get through all that, comes back, you know, National Player of the Week, open the season up, and then, you know, he gets hit in the jaw, breaks his jaw. It's just been thing after thing after thing for he and his family this year. When, when he went down, it was tough. The guy that put in so much work, the guy that's been the heart of our team for years, getting to see him come back to shortstop and getting to see him back at the plate, it was, it was just so fun to watch because that is what a true Patriot is. One nothing. He Wayne is back. Let's go, two. baby. We, we Craig, and, hey, four eyes, go get him, man. Specs. You hear the ovation as Blaine Jones is returning to the lineup. And I remember just on deck, I'm like looking around, like the nerves were there. Scared would kind of be the right word. Like I'm going into the bat, like. I can't control what this pitcher's gonna do. I had to take a step step back. I was getting emotional. Getting the box like five weeks after is, is incredible. And I look around, it's like, this is honestly like just a testament to how good God is. Came back from COVID. That's a huge, huge series. It was Coach Heath told us it was competing for first place. So winning that series was huge for us. The coaches had some more confidence in us once again. Top 20 in the nation as Glenn sends one high, deep, left field line. Definitely a momentum shift for us. We knew that them coming in, you know, their RPI and their rankings, you know, they were sky high. And that is off the video board. Indiana State responds with a four spot in the fifth inning. We had to play our best baseball to win. It was a very good, very good arm for them, and I know that four innings to go. Still going back, way back, that's over the wall! Well, my mindset was just one out at a time, throw up zeros, give my team a chance to win. Yeah. They're seen as the favorite in the conference, and, and we come out and win three or four, and honestly, I think we all believe we should have swept that series. Glenn turns on this one, he blasted to left, and he's got a second home run! I think that kind of gave the little bit of juice that we needed in the clubhouse, like, hey, like this team is for real, like we have a chance to do something super special. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're finished my masters. <laughs> Go to blew him away on the fastball. Nine K's now for Hamill as he passes Derek Hall for the six most strikeouts in a single season on that strikeout. Patriots out hitting the Aces 4-3, but they're down one nothing on the scoreboard. The one-one ground ball up the middle to his right winner. He slides. He's got it. He loses the baseball, and Glenn's coming home. He fumbles it again, and the Patriots have taken a two-one lead. Bases loaded, one away in a 3-3 ball game. First pitch is swung on, bounced up the middle. Jackson Glenn lets it go off his glove and the ball game is over. Evansville is handed a victory. They get four runs on one base hit. Gaither a long look as he studies the signs from Bowler at one and one. Here comes the pitch, the curve ball, fly ball. 
to right center field. David is there, waits for it to come down, and Gaither slams the door shut on Evansville's threat in the ninth inning. Right, that was, that was huge. That's, that, that takes a high level of professionalism to today. Last week, to scuffle, to be open to change, and then come out here today, and your team needs you in a one-on game, that was, that's, that's what professionals do, that's good to uh, Baseball is built on failure because you're like a Hall of Famer if you fail seven out of ten times. So it just it creates like an environment of just dudes that are willing to have fun in any situation. I feel like the on-field performance for me was up to that point. It wasn't up to my standard, but a lot of adjustments and a lot of uh, taking the focus off myself and putting it on my teammates kind of made me really get my game back. Those are the games you remember because everybody contributed talk about a slugfest. You just talk about team baseball. Patriots with that win today. They're uh, 25th now of the season. 25 and 11 and overall. That Illinois State series um, was a fantastic series for us because we ended up sweeping, but it wasn't like we just showed up and just dominated. I knew that he had a fastball slider and that he didn't like to throw his changeup. And Coach Hefner told me that uh, his he was throwing he was starting righties with uh, sliders. So I kind of just sold out to that approach. Once Jackson got intentionally walked and then River went up to the plate, he got hit by the pitch first pitch. I already knew what I needed to do. He threw that slider and I, it was up. So I got to put a good swing on it. It's a walk off grand slam home run. Sir, the slider, baby. Tell the slider, baby. <laughs> and after Bell hit the other three-run home run to walk us off in game two. That's something that I'll never forget, you know, especially with the double headers and stuff, having two walk-off home runs in one day, um, and with Sosa's being a grand slam that he just absolutely crushed. Goodbye to Horner Ballpark, but there's a whole lot of baseball <laughs> right. left. Carbondale was, as much as we kind of like to, to poke at it, whatever, 14 days in Carbondale, whatever it was, I think it was probably one of the best moments for our team. Just getting on the road and being able to hang out every single day. I don't think I was alone one night. A lot of downtime, you know, so we really had a little bit more room to hang out and not just get to know people maybe you didn't know as well. Patriots win it and they have claimed the outright Missouri Valley Conference Championship. Red Coba, a complete game shutout as the Patriots take game two. It's the most runs that Sherland has given up. That was definitely, definitely one of the, the tougher moments this year for sure, but just one of those things where the game doesn't go your way. Even, you know, you could be doing everything as best you possibly can, the game doesn't go your way. Neville brings home the fourth run of the inning and the Salukis are pouring it on. They're now up nine to five. But I remember walking off the field that night, but I just kind of turned around and pulled my phone out and I snapped a picture of the scoreboard, looking at that four spot, you know, in a, in a part of the game where I was supposed to come in and throw up zeros and I saw that number, it kind of, kind of fueled me a little bit. You took the first two and you're feeling great. And oh boy, two tough, tough losses to add to your resume here as you close out the regular season. Yeah, really difficult 